Hey, what's up? Hey, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to play Game Boy Advance games on your iOS device for free without a jailbreak or a computer on iOS 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. 8.4 and pretty much every iOS. What we'll be using to do this is an application called Puffin that supports Flash in conjunction with a website that allows you to play classic GBA games over Flash. Now, this relies heavily on a good internet or Wi-Fi connection and unfortunately cannot be played offline. However, that's a small kickback for being able to play your favorite GBA games on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod and if you're excited to learn how to do this, please hit that like button and let's try to reach 600 likes. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, doing this is very simple and like I mentioned, you will need the Puffin application which you can easily find on the App Store by searching Puffin. There's a paid and free version, but the paid version does not have any advertisements and costs $3.99. However, if you're going to pay for the paid Puffin application, you can simply get a build store account for $6 more and have GBA for iOS among many other emulators that work offline. So that's definitely an option if you do have the money to spend. But besides that, once you do have Puffin, you're going to go ahead and open it and it's like your average web browser that you have. You can search at the top and the URL that we're going to be looking up is gbafun.com. This will be the website we'll be utilizing to play our GBA games that are streamed over Flash. And you do have the ability to save your game, so do not worry about that. Upon entering the site, what you wanna do is search for the game that you would like to play. Whatever it may be, this website has tons of games available to be played, but not every single GBA game in this world. So if they don't have the game you would like to play, I'm sorry about that. But once you search whichever game you want to play, go ahead and click on it and it'll take you to a page specifically for that game. And you're going to go ahead and select play the game as you can see here to actually play the game. And it also has the instructions for the controls on there as well. But I'll walk you through that in a second. Once you click on the game and select play for what you like to play, I recommend going into landscape to get the best experience. And you're going to want to go into the settings by clicking the little three dots and then select gamepad so that you can play your games with the gamepad. And we need to change the gamepad a bit so that it's compatible with this website. So as you saw earlier, the instructions said that X is B and Z is A. So I'm going ahead and going to configure that as well as start is enter and control is select. I forgot to map for select at this moment in time, but you guys can go ahead and do so if you'd like. So to actually play the game, all you have to do is click on the black screen that says click to start and it'll simply start emulating your game and showing it over the flash as you can see here. And now just like that, you're able to play your GBA games. But you may be wondering how do I save my game and you're not going to save your game within the actual game. You're going to have to save your game through the cloud and this requires a GBA fun account which is completely free and very simple to set up. You can set it up by clicking on the screen and then selecting the cloud and select are you a new user and make your username, password, email, all of that good stuff which is very simple but you will need to take out your keyboard. Once you're done with that, select register and you can now save or load your progress. Since we've just made the account, we have nothing to load. So you can go ahead and save by selecting save your progress and you'll know that you saved because it says save succeeded at the bottom of the screen. Once you're done saving your progress, you can select X at the top right and continue to play and enjoy your games. But you may be wondering what are all the other things that are on the screen besides just the little cloud and I'll be showing you that in just a second. But first, I'm going to quickly show you that saving your progress does actually work. As you saw, I saved halfway into the game and then I refreshed the page. I came back and now when I load my progress and exit out of the screen, it'll show that I'm exactly where I was when I saved my progress, which is really great. The only other thing here, all the pictures are very self-explanatory, muting the sound if you don't wanna to listen to it, taking out the keyboard, looking for the instructions and of course full screen which 
for some reason does not work for me on my iPhone 6, but maybe one of you guys could explain that for me in the comment section below, but it doesn't really matter if you're in full screen or not, the experience is exactly the same. But anyways, now you can play your favorite GBA games on your iOS device. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, if you did, then please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated, as well as share this video with a friend and let them know how they can play their favorite Game Boy Advance games on their iOS device. Or if you're interested in playing Game Boy Color or Game Boy games on your iOS device offline as well, there's a great tutorial for that in the description below. Finally, if you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified whenever I upload more videos, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.